I always describe LA as an awesome place to live. It's the most pleasant place, you know, from the weather to how big the spaces are, to the food, to the art. The original studios were set up here because it was sunny all the time, and the light was really good for shooting. I really wanted to write comedy for TV and write screenplays and hopefully get to direct. And so I moved out to Los Angeles to, uh, to follow that dream. When I moved out here, I immediately felt at home. I started in television and I wrote for a few TV shows. I ended up directing. Uh, I've directed four movies, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Get Him to the Greek, The Five-Year Engagement, and Neighbors, which is about transitioning to having a family, really, and how hard that can be and how hard it is to accept the fact that your life's changed irrevocably. And it was also about uh, Zac Efron's abs. <laughs> <laughs> if you're coming to Los Angeles, just take a walk on the beach, you know? Walk around Venice and Santa Monica for the day. And, and then hit LACMA to go to, you know, an art museum. This is the center of art uh, in L.A. It's a vibrant artistic community. I think that a lot of other cities, you know, have art in them, but this is one of the few cities that you can actually afford to be an artist and live here. I love the accusation that L.A. lacks culture. The world's culture, I think, springs from L.A., for better or worse. <laughs> one of the reasons that the food is so awesome in L.A. is because California is the produce capital of the U.S. What's so cool about LA is that it's as big a city as New York and it has as much to offer, but it's easy also to escape from that. If you go to Griffith Park, you feel like suddenly you're in the woods, you don't feel like you're in a city. If I hadn't moved here, I don't think I would have found my way. 